Okay, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna hit the I'm gonna hit the federal on the floor. I'm just gonna barely tap it because I don't want to make a lot of noise here. There's the federal. It'll get really loud. Here's your right directional. Beacon on the roof. Just a cool truck. Here's your blinker. Brake lights work. Now I'm gonna get under it. I wanna show you the doors, the base of the doors. Here's the uh, driver's side. No play at all in the hinges, okay? Let me get down and show you the door. Here's the base of the door. Drain holes. This doesn't get any better than that, you know? Rocket panels, no rust at all. I'll show you the door, how it closes. Ugh. supports the cab mount area okay rocker panels there's a front rocker panel floors floor support new shock absorbers Uh, flow master dual exhaust. I went through this whole truck. I, can't, uh, I pretty much know these trucks inside and out. I greased the whole uh, drive shaft. I greased the front end. Uh, I greased all the linkages on the uh, clutch linkage. It's something a lot of people don't do. I do it. It looks like someone went through all the brakes before I got it. All that stuff's new. Uh, it's a new line there. Master cylinder. I mean, the brakes work really well. They don't pull. Uh, they're really nice. Brakes. Whole truck's nice. I mean, it is a one-ton truck. It's not going to ride like a pickup truck. We got a Federal still spinning. These things spin forever. I moved all the hood hinges. I adjusted the hood latch. You don't have to slam the hood, you just close it. There you go. It's closed. Hood latch is a little funky here. But, I mean, it works. It's, uh... Open. Closed. I mean, I don't get it. This thing was, you had to slam it to close it when I got it. A simple adjustment. I mean, 50 years of slamming the hood for nothing. I adjusted it. Here's your horn. Here's, what else can I show you? Uh, GMC letters, red in the middle. I don't know if I said it before, but I'll say it again. 66 was the only year you had red in the middle of the chrome letters in the front. Other than that, it's hard to tell these trucks apart. Uh, let's see. Someone did a nice job with the uh, lettering. It's a nice truck. It had fire extinguisher on the back. But instead of pulling those big clumsy things around, I took those off and I uh, put the reflective tape on there. I think it looks nice. It could easily be, easily be taken off if someone doesn't like that. You just heat it up and take it off. I like it. You can see the directional still blinking. 
once again all the directionals all the lights the horn the wipers this truck's ready to drive I've been daily driving this truck for two weeks now to see if there are any bugs in it there's the, there's the beacon still spinning around once again the tires are all new no dry rot it has it, it does not have split rims on this truck which is a plus someone changed them along the way uh, the truck does not have split rims which is once again a big plus because you know people don't want to work on those split rims anymore and saves you a headache down the line you know all right that's it for this video and I'm gonna do one more video of the truck driving so you guys can see how she runs any questions uh, just give me a call well, let me look at the roof for you again I want to show you the roof a lot of these things rust out on a roof the seam on this truck is perfect is your beacon I don't know it's a shame to take this truck apart to make a work truck out of it but if someone wanted to like a plumber electrician carpenter it would make one hell of a work truck now you put your name on the side I mean it's not like a fire engine where it's a pumper and yeah it's a beautiful truck and all that but it's a kind of pretty much a useless truck unless you want to pump water somewhere this truck here this truck here would have many uses keep it as a fire engine as a I, I pretty much trace down all the history on this truck I have all that I could figure out the whole history where it came from where it's been how it ended up here keep it as a fire truck I do want to point out it has a bunch of holes in the bed where things were mounted over the years even in the floor there's many holes because it used to be a light truck and all kinds of stuff was bolted down in here um, it had a, what I got it had a stretcher hanging on these hooks here and it's you know fire axes and stuff like that over there I took that stuff out I still have it if somebody wants that stuff I do have the electronic siren like I said I do have the Motorola radio that was mounted underneath it would be easy to put it back in I just took it out because I don't know, it was hitting the shifter. It was probably hitting the shifter for 50 years, but. Um, press this, the seat goes front and back like it should. Has a rear view mirror, it's not the right one, but this truck has no holes in the headliner. This truck didn't come through with a mirror. Uh, so I put that one on, it just makes the truck more drivable. You could come right out or you could purchase the uh, original style mirror for about 50 bucks. Drill three holes and it mounts right to the roof right there. Um, this light here is an indicator light. That tells you when the battery, battery pack is energized to the system. And uh, it's got two cigarette lighters here aftermarket but useful there's a switch for the beacon on the roof switch for the light in the back ashtray it's got the hooks for the microphones that were in here before um, high low beam switch here once again that switch there is to energize the federal under the hood here's the tag 10,000 pound truck which is good if you register it because it's still in a lower class you go one more pound you're in the next class and you have to have a health card every year DOT numbers I'm gonna sign off and I'm gonna do one more video of the truck driving